Hi, this is Hector, and today we're going to draw this cool fish in Procreate, and it's really easy to do, and we're going to use that pastel brush. Now, if you want to pause it, this is a perfect place to, because we have all the instructions here. Brush sizes, canvas size, and all that good stuff. If you've never turned on Drawing Assist, just tap on the wrench icon, and that's where we have our actions. Go to Canvas. Next, go to Drawing Guide, just turn it on. Edit Drawing Guide. There we go. Now I like large grids, so we can either adjust that way, or we can tap on 275. And if you notice, it says length 275, and uh, also says 275 there. But we can just key it in. And I'm going to do 375. 3, 7, 5. 375 up there, 375 pixels down there. Tap on done. Okay, let's get to sketching. Let's make some dots. One pretty much in the middle to the left, right there's good. And about two squares up and three squares away. Another dot there. And maybe about six squares down, another dot there. Okay, let's do two more dots and um, pretty much one away from the center there and there. So you have five dots. There we go. Now, when we connect the dots, Tell me, what do you think this looks like? Because we're going to arch it just a little bit. Now, I like to move my canvas around a lot because it helps me with my brush strokes. And that's a cool thing about digital art, by the way. But tell me, what do you think this looks like if we just stopped right here? What do you think? Now, I'm thinking a guitar pick, but what do you think? Just let me know in the comments below. <laughs> Okay, now these two squares, let's uh, just put in an oval, because it'll also be the eyes. And there we go. Every fish needs a gill, so we're going to do it right there. And a uh, bunch of fins, right? Let's put one there. Next one's probably going to go, let's see, what do you think? Up at the top, right? Yeah, let's do that. So you see, you see, I'm just scribbling. I'm not really going too into what this is, what the, the fins are going to look like. It's just basically placements. And that's like our tail because we're doing an action scene here. And our fish is going to have a little smile. And you know what? It, let's just make the eyes just a little larger. Yeah, something like that. Okay, I think that looks good. Okay, so let's go and start painting. Let's set up the layers. Let's go up there. Oh, and by the way, those are instructions to the right. But basically, I'm going to be just knocking down the opacity and also changing the blend mode to multiply. Once I do that, then I'm going to hit the plus sign, get a new layer, and drag that underneath layer one. Now, I'm going to need about three more layers. So I'm just going to go up to the top, plus sign, tap, 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 tap. All right, now we're ready to get started. And perfect, we have layer five highlighted. That's what we want. We're gonna go up to the brushes, tap there, and under sketching, we're gonna be choosing soft pastel, and the dimensions are down there. Uh, what, what do you think? What do you think is next? Color, yeah, you're right. So now let's go to color. I'm gonna just choose a blue. You can choose any color you want, but I'm going with the blue. And um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my brush just a little wider. Maybe it looks like a 60%. And basically, with just a couple of strokes, we're done. Yes, I know there's overspill, but we're going to take care of that. See on the brushes, when we go there, it says soft pastel. Then we go to eraser. And it's something different, right? Here's how you can change it almost automatically. Highlight your brush. Now you go to eraser and just hold it for about a sec. And... Look, the brush, it transferred over. Everything but the settings, but that's okay. Just make that adjustment and just start erasing away. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're not really going to see any of the sketching. Just in the ballpark's fine. Ballpark is good. Now I know what you're thinking. Why aren't we using Clipping Mask or Alpha Lock, any of those things? Well, it's because I'm just going old school. <laughs> I'm just using simple paint and um, just erasing. Okay, that's not old school, but you know what I mean. 
Up next is we're going to change that background color. So let's go to layers and then tap on background color. And once again, choose anything you want, but I'm going to be somewhere in the blues. And sometimes when you have a lot of choices, it just takes you forever to do so. So almost there, almost there. And uh, I think I'm there. Next, we're going to play with the texture of the ocean. So go to layer two. And we're going to choose a color. We're going to do something a little lighter. Uh, something like that. Brush and everything. All that info is down there. And I'm just using diagonal lines. I'm just scuffing it, really. Going to do the same thing, but now I'm going to choose a darker version of that color. And uh, just scuffing it through. Now the right side of the canvas needs to be lightened up just a little bit. So let's get some light blue and scuff it in there. Yeah, it looks good. All right, now let's get some color. Let's go to color. Let's go to white. Go to layers. Make sure layer 5 is chosen. And go to the top. Hit the plus sign. That's a new layer. And the brush we're going to be using, it's going to be a really narrow brush. It's going to be at 1%. So it's a soft pastel, 1% in white. When you use the tip of this brush, it's really sharp. But when you tilt it, you start shading it in. Here we go again. Sharp. There. And now we're going to tilt here. And now it's starting to shade. Nice, huh? It is just like the real deal. Love this brush. Okay, just a little bit more there. And then we're going to change color. We're going to do something kind of dark. Same idea. If we use the tip of the brush, we're going to get some nice bold lines. And if we just tilt it just a little bit, we're going to get a little bit more coverage. There we go. We're just defining the space. That's all we're doing. It's just defining the space. Okay, let's zoom out and see? Nice sharp eyes. Now, our light source is upper left. And, yeah, you know, just use some logic. Where would the shadows be? And that's what we're doing right now. Just kind of defining spaces, and then we're just adding a little bit more darkness to the shadows. Maybe under the fin. That would be a good place, right? So tip of the pencil, nice sharp lines. And if we just tilt it a little bit, we get a little bit more shading. And once we do this, we can always go to the eraser. Because, let's go there. When you remove some of it, somehow it just looks more realistic. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like the lighting is playing into all those crevices. Uh, see, back and forth. You know what? See that? That white? Hate that. Let's go to eraser, and when you tilt the pencil, it's not going to work as well. You need to use the tip. Add just a little pressure, and it's gone. All right. What do you think? Looks kind of flat, huh? Uh, let's add some dimension. Let's get some white. Let's go to Layers. Tap on Layer 6. Let's go to Brush Size. Let's slide that down to 1%. Let's tilt that brush and just add just a little bit of pressure. There we go. And just blend it in. Just blend in that part. Yeah, this works. Uh, let's do the same thing to the bottom. Let's just turn that around and this time use the tip of the pencil. Yeah, because the whole idea is that the sun's coming down, it's reflecting off the sand, and you're getting that reflection at the bottom. And, yeah, that works. That'll do it. Let's choose something dark, a dark blue. Oh, yeah, that's good. Brush size, make it 9%. And tilt the pencil. And very, very light brush strokes. Now, what makes this work is that your brush strokes... They don't blend together. No, they don't. They, in fact, like, well, yeah. See, look at this. This is horrible. This is a two finger tap, tap, tap. And let's just do it again. Yeah. And that's what I love about digital art. You have so many chances to get this thing right. So, once again, your strokes, you don't want them to blend together. You want to see them have some form of independence because. Not only is this giving you definition, but you're also creating texture. 
And so now I reduced my brush size to 3% because I'm going to do a little detail work on the fish lips. Uh, you know, is there such a thing as fish lips? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. <laughs> All right, let's get rid of the grids. Let's go to the wrench icon. Once we go there, then we're going to go to drawing guide and tap there. It's, they're gone. Let's get some color. We're going to do some gold and brush is going to be soft brush. Size is going to be 16%. Our lines are going to be kind of squiggly, diagonal lines. And once we get our gold lines done, we're going to go back to color. And this time, we're going to choose green. Reduce the brush to 9%, 5%, and same idea. We're going to do somewhat diagonal lines, but they're going to be kind of squiggly. Next, let's go to the adjustments icon, go to Gaussian Blur, and we're going to slide eh, to your preference. Now we're going to tap to commit. Now we're going to do something I love doing to all my illustrations. Uh, let's go to layers. Let's go to the topmost layer. It looks like it's layer one. Now we're going to go to the wrench icon. Just tap there. And under actions, add. We're going to go to add and go to Copy Canvas and Paste. So, what do we just do? Let's go to Layers. We copied all these layers into that one layer. Why? Because we're gonna to go to Adjustments and Curves, and we're gonna pay special attention to this line, the bendy line, because the left side adjusts the dark tones, and the right side adjust the lighter tones, while the middle adjusts the mid-tones. And once you're happy where you're at, by the way, a little goes a long way, tap on the blue icon, not that one, this one, and you're done. Now, can we do more? Yeah, uh, let's go to layers. Let's just move this off to the side. Go to layers, swipe to the left, Tap on Duplicate. Now we want this area right here to be a little brighter. So tap on the end and then your blend mode's going to be Multiply. Uh, but everything got darker. That's not what we're looking for, right? But what we're going to do is we're going to go to Layers and tap it once and go to Mask right there. Boom. Did you notice there's a white thumbnail? Now, white reveals, black conceals. Because that's white, nothing's happened. But once we go to color, and let's go to classic mode. Now gray is going to take off about 50% of whatever's on that layer. So let's go to brush, and I'm going to do a soft brush. And 100% opacity, size is about 10%. And I'm just going to start brushing it in. Just by brushing it in, I'm taking off 50% of whatever's there. So think of this like an eraser. If you use 100% pressure, you get rid of 100%. But if you use 50% pressure, you're still going to see 50% of it. All right, so let's go to color. Uh, you know what? Let's go to layers. Go to layers first. Tap on the plus sign. New layer. Now go to color. Let's go to white. Brush. It's going to be sketching 6B pencil. And the size can be 7%. Opacity 87%. And all we're doing is just adding some specular highlights. So why are we doing this? Well, let's see. Fish is in the water and the sun's coming in and you're probably going to get some really super shiny parts on that fish. And that's what we want to do. Just add a little splash of white. Now, it works the other way too. You know, once we get done with the white, we can go up to the top, go to color, and we can choose black. Because if we do that, now we can go into our shadow areas and just give them just a little bit of a punch. All right, just, hey, did you notice something? I missed something. You know what it is? Up there, the, the other part of the tail. Totally neglected it, it, was working all around it, just didn't even notice it. But there's that one, and also the top there of the dorsal fin. And a little there. And just to give a little bit more character, just a little shade right over the eyes. 
right there. All right, this is it. So what do you think? You know, at first it was like, it was kind of hard, but, you know, it started off as a guitar pick, and then we just kind of added, you know, added more stuff to it. And uh, before you know it, we got a fish in the water. <laughs> anyway, I hope you liked this. And if you did, please like. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Anyway, thanks for hanging out. Gotta go.